Dorian Yates and Branch Warren, two of the hardest, grainiest, most conditioned bodybuilders of all time, I'm here to tell you. You guys are getting smarter and smarter. This is your second winning video of your fan requested Friday lineup. You guys vote for one, wait till I do it, and then you just go back and re-vote for one. So this one is actually the Dorian Yates versus Branch Warren, 1993 versus 2009. This was the official winner of your Fan Requested Friday poll, your vote. I'm so proud of you guys working together like that to trick old Mark's Max muscle. But anyway, before I begin this one, I have to warn you Dorianites. I am not a Dorianite, so if he loses a pose, I will go ahead and let you know. So if you're a strict Dorianite, you might not want to this one but we know you're going to anyway front double bicep pose neither of these gentlemen are going to brag about their front double bicep poses both of them have some you know qualities that are less than becoming of a front double branch warren he has weak forearms if you've never noticed that before i mean now that you see it now that you know it i mean it's obvious this Pitcher from 1993. These pretzels are making me thirsty. But either which way, the camera angle sucks. The 93 footage of Dorian sucks. Here's another one. Now this one is better. This one gives Dorian a better better chance of getting a victory. Dorian's got a better physique. The midsection, lats, of course. And they're speaking of lats, little bit of a tear there. On the, the left lat, the right lat. It's on my left. The right lat of uh, Branch Warren, you can see that. Branch, of course, more than likely going to get an edge in the wheel department. Although in this shot here, the, the shadows and everything, no pun intended, the shadows of Dorian Yates' legs, it looks really good. And that definitely leads me to believe that the footage, the other pictures of Dorian Yates, kind of ripping him off. Kind of ripping him off. So, after that long tail, who's winning the front double bicep? Neither guy, really. Dorian little weak in the arms, losing in the arms, biceps, triceps, but then you look at the forearms. Dorian, an incredible set of forearms. I could go back and forth all day long in this one. Personally, I'll tell you who I like. I like Dorian a little bit more. But that's, uh, you know, not set in stone. Front lat spread. Obviously, you Dorianites going to get very upset. If you were ever going to hand Dorian a, a loss in any pose, it wouldn't be the front lat spread. For you Dorianites. Of course, in this picture, the angle is tilted. And I'm going to tell you guys that right now. For you Dorian Yates haters, because I'm sure there is some out there, you would only strictly use these photos of Dorian. And that's not fair. It really is not fair, especially to the Dorianites. Bring this one on, and here you go. Now we're talking. Now we can do some business. Look at Dorian Yates' physique. He doesn't get talked about by uh, for having a great physique very often because he competed in the 90s. There were some of the best physiques. Sean Ray, Kevin Navroni, Flex Wheeler, all those guys were incredible. Dorian Yates, quite aesthetically pleasing, to be honest. Per, uh, actually, here in 1993, maybe the most aesthetic that he's ever been. Branch Warren looks like a juggernaut beast. He's very, very good in this shot, torn lad or not. He looks very filled out, conditioned as well. But I mean, come on. I don't want to get a rock thrown in my house. Dorian wins the front lot spread. There, he is happy. But it's close though. It's very close. Turn to the side. Now here is where Branch Warren, he's going to get an edge for sure. Dorian Yates. I mean, I, I, I think that even the Dorianites themselves would admit Maybe not the strongest from the side chest department. It's not the side tricep. Side chest. I'm sure you Dorianites will at least admit that. Branch Warren, strong from the side. Look at the wheel difference. My soul, my soul. Made Branch a lot shorter here. He's bending at the knees. Branch Warren, or uh, Dorian Yates, stood tall. Stood tall. But I guess that's irrelevant. Dorian, definitely the weaker link in this shot. Side tricep might be a different story. And I say might because Branch Warren, from head to toe, this guy was unbelievable. From the side, 
Keep in mind, guys, Branch won. Some people even think that he beat 09J, which was the best 09J. And if I gave J a victory over Dorian Yates, it wouldn't be very controversial, I don't think. Might be. So keep that in mind. In Branch Warren, he got a victory over Dexter the Blade Jackson. 09 Dext. The best Dext. But still, Dorian Yates, he's big, he's conditioned, plus... He's much more aesthetically pleasing in this shot. He looks like a classic physique division competitor. Hold on. With meat. Classic physique with meat. With more size. So he has the aesthetics. Not the size. The aesthetics of a classic physique division competitor. But still, I'm going to throw a little epithet at the end of this one. This side tricep, believe it or not, could go either way. Branch is that good. Turn around for the almighty back shots. Almighty. Almighty. Bad shot again for Dorian Yates. And that's a shame. Considering his back is so good, we would love to have good clear pitchers of his rear lat and rear double. Terrible. Terrible. Now, Branch in the lower half, I think it's a, it's a win. Probably. I, I, okay, it's a win. It's a win. I gotta stop being very overprotective of you, Dorianite's feelings. Dorian's still winning in the back. Let's have another one of Dorian Yates. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is more fair. Hold, hey, hold on. <laughs> Looks like his legs are a little bit photoshopped there. It was actually being covered up, his, his right leg, so I put his left leg on over there. Look how conditioned Dorian is from the lower half. Can you believe that? With proper lighting. See what I'm saying, guys? The other pitchers were pretty much in the shadow. Or in the dark. Couldn't see. And this one here, very shadowy also. <laughs> He's the shadow, Yates. But still, you can see every fine detail of those glutes. And the hamstrings as well. And back for back. Get out of town. Come on. Dorian Yates could take the, the lat meat alone and just cover Branch Warren's back. He's that good. Still, Branch, just as conditioned as the man himself. So when he says, you know, these guys aren't as conditioned, he's not talking about Branch Warren. That's for darn sure. Rear double by. See, Branch is not that bad. He gets criticized for having a week back. Week back, nothing here in 2009. Not bad at all. Just weak compared to his, his lower half, I guess. Keep in mind some of the best, biggest quads and hamstrings, calves, calves. So it makes the back look a little bit weaker, plus his midsection is a little thick. But other than that, you know, not a bad back. Of course, Dorian has the best back of all time. Look at the lower back itself. The Christmas tree, Papa, just graded. You could take cheese and grade on that thing, that back. <laughs> so there you go, Dorianites. Dorian, he's he's winning the back shots. Keep in mind, these pitchers are in the shadows. They're in the dark. Can't even see any detail. And just remember how peeled he was in that rear lat spread pitcher. So Dorian was quite conditioned. Quite conditioned indeed. Abs and thigh shot. Branch Warren, probably underrated in this one as well. Considering, I mean, look at those quads. I don't think anybody, I don't think Dorian Yates can even touch Branch Warren in the quad development. Nice big teardrops on the on uh, Dorian, though. I will give him that. And uh, calves as well. Pretty good, pretty good. But Branch, I mean my soul. Now, lat for lat, Dorian is crushing Branch Warren. It's a split in that lat of Branch. You can really notice in this shot for sure. Now that you see it, her done Dorian also has a better set of abs. Now, here's another one. Here's another picture of Dorian Yates. And you can really see that those other pictures, they were kind of hiding the detail. These ones might be showing the detail a little bit too much, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sing, pure C. But uh, anyway, anyway, uh, foolishness. Branch Warren, ab for ab. I think Dor uh, Dorian's winning. I think he's beating Branch Warren. B taper as well. So at the end of the day, there might be a lot of dominance in the quads. For Branch Warren, but I actually much prefer Dorian in a shot like this. Finish this granite matchup. Granite. Granite versus granite. 
Could be marble, like I said. I think Dorian's... Dorian might be marble. Could be shale. No, he's not shale, for goodness sakes. Two of the worst, most muscular crab positions of all time. Out of maybe two guys that are definitely in the top 20 best of all time. To be able to hit a shot like this, not very aesthetically pleasing. I mean, who's got better arms? I think Dorian's, his right arm's better, but his left arm is worse. <laughs> anyway, anyway, condition would have us believe maybe Branch would get an edge. Maybe, maybe. Wasn't a mandatory shot back then. So you can always exclude this one from Dorian Yates matchups. Either way, guys, very close. Don't want to ruffle any feathers. Dorian Yates is the man. He is your winner. And even though Branch, he did... Let's face it, guys, he looked better in a lot of those shots. Most of that was due to the perfect lighting. There was some shots like this one here of Dorian that really does sh show his true condition. And the angle was way off, too, of Dorian in 93. It was up above him, which totally destroys the front double and the front lat spread. It makes them look terrible. And, I mean, food for thought, guys. There is some clearer back shots of Dorian Yates that show beyond the shadow, once again, no pun intended, the shadow of a doubt that Dorian Yates would have been, you know, just destroying anybody as far as conditioning is concerned. And Branch Warren might have been no exception. Keep in mind, Branch deserves respect as well. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, guys. And uh, yeah, kudos to working together to getting an extra fan-requested Friday video. Have a great one.